Greetings folks, um, hi. I know it's been a long time since uh, I posted on the website, but yes, we are back, and uh, this time I hope it will be consistent. So today we will be starting the first ever video in the IGCSE Additional Mathematics series. So I'm starting a new section on the website. This is Additional Mathematics, um, which is a subject offered by Cambridge IGCSE. And this is the first video in the section. This video will be on factors of polynomials. There are so many other topics in IGCSE Additional Mathematics, but I will be starting with this. The so folks try to catch up. Okay, so factors of polynomials. Let's try to evaluate what this phrase actually means. So a factor of something. So let's say I have the number 8. Factors of 8 are like 1, 2, um, and 4, and 8. Yeah, these are all factors of 8. So, so that whatever multiplies by another number, what, whatever number is multiplied with another number and gives the answer of 8 will be a factor. And that, that's one part of this um, long thing, factors of polynomials. A polynomial is anything like this. A polynomial is any function, is any equation which has a variety of exponents. So it has a cube, it has a square, it has a single x, and it has a value without an algebraic expression. So that's exactly what a polynomial means. So we're trying to find factors, factors of polynomials. So a factor of a polynomial is any number, it, it's any number that if I substitute that number into this, so if I substitute this, this value into this equation in the in the um, form of x, I should be get getting the answer zero. So that's when that's actually a factor of this. So you could have a question saying that p x is blah blah blah. P x is a polynomial equation, and it it uh, has a fact is it has a remainder of 26 when 2 is substituted and a remainder of 5 when negative 1 is substituted and you can even say it has a factor of 3 which means that when 3 is substituted inside this we will be getting the answer 0 that's 0 let's try to emphasize how important the 0 is at the moment okay so forget the 0 Let's try and actually solve this sum. So what this sum, <coughs> what this sum is actually saying is that there was a polynomial equation, and when substituting two in the place of x, we will get the remainder of twenty six as the remainder. And substituting negative one in the place of x, we'll get a remainder of five. So in order, and we ha we are given the duty of finding the value of a and b. So we have to form a simultaneous equation. We have to substitute the x value. So 2 cube 8a plus 4 plus 2b plus 2 equals 26. And negative 1, negative a plus 1 minus b plus 2 equals 5. So that's that's the substitution. So it's just 1, equation 1 and equation 2. Let's rearrange it and simplify it. So equation 1 will be... 8a plus 2b equals 26 minus 6, so 8a plus 2b equals 20, and 2 is negative a minus b equals 2, so 2 you bring decide is 2, so that's equation number 2. So now let's do the simultaneous equations to find the value of a and b. So simultaneous equations are basically applied in every single part of maths. So even in factors of polynomials, we have to use it to find the values of a and b. So we have the equation negative a minus b equals 2 and 8a plus 2b equals 20. Let's try solving that. Let's rearrange this and try the substitution method. b equals negative a minus 2. Let's substitute it inside equation 1 dash. So that's 8a plus 2 
negative a minus 2 equals 20, uh, sorry, 20. So that's 8a minus 2a minus 4 equals 20. That's 6a equals 24a equals 6. Now substitute a back into this so b equals negative 6 minus 2. So b equals negative 8. So the answer is a equals 6 and b equals negative 8. So that's what we can deduce from this. So quick summary, a polynomial is any function, any equation that has a variety of exponents. It's a poly, different normals. Normal is numbers and exponents. So different numbers and exponents. So ax cubed plus x squared plus bx plus 2. It can even be ax to the power of 4 plus x to the power uh, x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1, that can even be a polynomial, it just has to have a range of exponents inside it, so that's a polynomial, and we are trying to find the factors of it, and using that to solve the sums, so this is one example. This is the second part of it, and what I've basically done is we have the equation, find all the values of x, 3x cubed plus 5x minus 4x minus 3, equals a x plus 2 x plus b times x minus 1 plus c. So this is a typical way of um, one of the questions you'll see in the exam papers. So the values of x most probably to equate both sides we try to try another x equals 1 x equals 0 and x equals negative 1. I'll teach you that in the next video how to uh, retrieve these values. And I just had to substitute these values both sides until we get uh, each one so x equals 1, from substituting that we already got c equals 1. From substituting x equals 0, I got b equals 2. Now I'm substituting uh, x equals negative 1. So negative 3 plus 5 plus 4 minus 3 equals negative a plus 2 times negative 1 plus b times negative 2 plus c. So let's substitute all the values we have. So that's a negative a plus 2, with the ink running out. Negative a plus 2 and negative, okay, just 1, negative 2 plus 1, so that's negative e equals negative 2, a plus 2 plus 1, 3 equals 2a minus 4 plus 1, so 2a minus 3 equals 3, so 2a equals 6, a equals 3, so I already retrieve 3 values, folks. And that's exactly how we do sums like this. So a equals 3, b equals 2, and c equals 1. That's how we solve um, that something that presents you. So basically, I'm going to explain how the sum actually works. So this is the actual polynomial. And if the polynomial is broken down into this form, with a and b being different values, we are asked to find out the values of a, b, and c given that the values of x are 1, 0, and negative 1. So just substitute and see what happens. You will find three values after that. Oh, thank you for watching the first part, folks. I will be uploading um, the second part shortly, and in uh, the second part, we will be um, understanding. I'll be teaching you the more advanced part of uh, factors of polynomials. So look forward to that. Thank you.